Hello to you. I'm Shelly Munez. It is Thursday, August 15th. Here are the six things to know. OK, another active afternoon for us. Now the positive spin. Uh, we are going to be dry this morning, but unsettled this afternoon. And in fact, we have a flood watch in effect from Palm Beach County right down to Miami Dade through at least this evening. Look for some isolated flooding in spots. The shooter involved in a deadly run in on the Rickenbacker Causeway was released by police. Detectives questioned him for hours. His attorney says it was self defense. Video shows the group of cyclists and the motorcyclists arguing before he shot the victim. A former high school student is facing charges after posting a video on social media showing him pulling out a gun in a classroom. Police say the video may have actually been filmed last year but was posted this week. The same teen was expelled last year for bringing ammunition to school. We now know the name of the man accused of injuring six officers in Philadelphia. Police say Maurice Hill walked out peacefully after a standoff that lasted hours. It all started when officers tried to serve a narcotics warrant. Miami Dolphins receiver Kenny Still says he and team owner Stephen Ross have agreed to disagree. Last week, Still said he was against Ross hosting a fundraiser for President Trump. Following a team practice Wednesday, Still said he recently spoke with Ross about the fundraiser and agreed they have different opinions on the matter. The federal government is trying to remove the tiny key deer from the endangered species list, but environmental groups say there are still clear dangers to the animal's only known habitat, the Florida Keys. Right now, the plan is to remove the key deer from the list on August 22nd. And that is exactly a week from today. And those are the six things to know for today. You can always follow all these stories and get a check on the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember, you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. We'll see you dark and early to kick off your Friday tomorrow.